Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and uh, at the prompting of a very perceptive young lady, I am going to continue in my series of videos with respect to great figures uh, of the Jewish literary world, uh, great commentators, uh, tzaddikim, righteous people, great people, gadolim, and uh, I want to spend uh, just a minute or two talking about Rashi. Anybody who's uh, done any dabbling in uh, uh, Jewish learning will know the name uh, Rashi. It's an acronym. Like many names, uh, a couple of videos ago, we talked about the Ramchal. Ramchal, Rabbi Moshe Chaim Lutzado. You take the uh, beginning letters of each uh, uh, name, you come up with the acronym Ramchal. Similarly, Rashi. Rabbi Shlomo Yitzhak, Yitzhaki. He was a medieval commentator. He was born in the year 1040, of the Common Era, and died in 1105, about a thousand years ago. Um, he wrote a comprehensive uh, commentary to the Torah and to uh, the Talmud. And he presents um, the pshat, the, the, the plain, uh, basic meaning uh, of the text in a very concise and lucid uh, fashion. And this appeals both to, uh, to Torah scholars and to uh, beginners, uh, the learned and the people just uh, starting out. Um, the works remain a centerpiece uh, of uh, contemporary uh, Jewish learning right to, to this day. Um, his commentaries uh, to the Torah are, um, are so fundamental that uh, when you're learning, when you're a young person, the Torah and the Rashi are taught together, Chumash Rashi, uh, so as to get a better understanding because certain passages um, seem a little unclear, they need a little explanation, uh, but basically he says, I'm only here to to explain the plain meaning, to explain uh, the pshat. Um, they are a centerpiece of, uh, of Jewish learning. I find it, find it uh, hard to see how someone can really understand the true meaning of the Torah without uh, uh, the commentaries uh, of Rashi. Um, his um, his uh, commentaries cover almost all uh, of the Talmud, of the Talmud, uh, 30 out of uh, 39 tractates of the Babylonian Talmud. They only finished because uh, he died. Uh, it is said that his daughter uh, completed uh, a lot of the commentaries uh, to the Talmud after uh, uh, Rashi's death. Um, his commentaries have been included in the in all uh, copies of the uh, of the Talmud. Uh, Starting in uh, the first printed copy, which is in, was in the 1520s, um, like his father, um, Rashi was uh, a winemaker and a wine merchant. So he wasn't a full-time rabbi. This, he did this uh, in addition to uh, to his uh, enterprise of uh, making and uh, marketing wine. Uh, this was consistent uh, with the work with the words of our sages that you have to combine Torah study with work. It's not. Uh, study, but practice, and uh, Rashi most certainly uh, embodied that. We're going to be doing more videos with respect to our great sages. Uh, please come back, please watch, please learn, and until next time, on behalf of the Immortal Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.